Hello, welcome back to GOT. Today we are going to unbox and give you my first impression of the Z Fold 6. Why am I just now doing it? Well, we're going to talk about that. I got a great deal that I just couldn't pass up. Let's talk about it. Now, if you've been watching my channel, you already know that I have the Z Fold 5 and that I complained about the Z Fold 6 not being much difference, which is the reason why I was not going to upgrade. Because if I did upgrade, it was going to cost me another $700, even if I had traded in my Z Fold 5. And I was not about to shell out $700 for the exact same phone. So real quickly, why do I have it now? Well, I just couldn't pass up the Prime Day deals. Now, I did announce that on my last video. If you missed it, sorry, I told you about it. You had to watch that video. They actually added another $3 discount on the phone. Now, because I had purchased things in the past, I also had some Samsung credit that I was able to use. So bottom line is, when I bought the phone, I paid $355 for it. From $1,900 down to $355. Now, that's a great deal. Now, of course, full disclosure, I am trading on the Z Fold 5. They gave me $1,200 for that, which was a good trade-in. So I don't mind doing that deal. Let's go ahead and open up the Z Fold 6. And we'll do a quick comparison with the Z Fold 5. So if you look here, I've got the Z Fold 6 right here. I need to go ahead and fill the tabs here. I'm going to spare you all this and just pull it out. Huh? Now, I got with this special deal, you had to get the black carbon look, which I don't mind. I don't mind the carbon look whatsoever. This thing's in there snug. Come on out. There we go. I don't mind the carbon look. It looks pretty, looks pretty slick to me. It actually has a texture on the feel too. Go ahead and peel that bad boy off. And there's the screen. Now that's a pretty looking screen. Now it looks really nice in the beginning. And of course the crease does look a little smaller compared to the Z Fold 5, but the Z Fold 5 has been out a while and been used quite a bit and has quite a few fingerprints on it, as you can see. But the crease does look a little more prevalent in the Z Fold 5 than it does in the new Z Fold 6. Now, if you saw me on my reviews of the Pixel 9 Pro Fold, it looked pretty flat too from the beginning. And then after having it a while and folding it, the crease did get bigger. So the crease may get larger over time. So as you can see, looking at the table here, I have been a fan for some, some for quite some time. As a matter of fact, I even go as far back as the Note series. I, I believe the first one I owned was the Note 5. I like the idea of being able to write on the screen. Now, of course, we know the Note series died out, and then you got the Z Fold. And the first one I got was a Z Fold 4, and I got the pen, and I liked it at first until you start drawing across this little dip in the center and it just messes everything up you can't write across it straight it just creates a dip in your writing and your drawing it makes it really difficult you got to move around so i kind of gave up on drawing on the z fold or actually phones in general so that's a quick story the history of my samsung so i do like samsung's i've been called a samsung hater out there but you know what in my comparison videos i like to be honest and this is just me being honest. So the Z Fold 5 and the Z Fold 6 are a little bit different. Oh, here's a actual another screen protector on there. I didn't realize it was there. Let's pull that off. There we go. Got the shiny new screen. Let's go ahead and turn this thing on. And we can see the difference in the screens. There we go. For the first time, it's popping on. So I'll go ahead and get everything transferred over so that it's working. And then we'll do some more testing. And if you notice here on the side, I've got my Prime bag here of some Prime Day deals that did come in. We'll go over those in the next video. So you're going to have to come back. So this is a good time to subscribe down below so you don't miss out on me doing a review on these Prime Day deals. Now let's get this phone set up. Okay, we got most everything copied over. There's probably some stragglers still coming in, but we're going to go ahead and continue on with these phones. You've got both the Z Fold 5 and the Z Fold 6 looking very similar. Now let's compare them. Look at that screen. It looks very close to the same. The Z Fold 6 is supposed to be not quite as tall, and you can see that just barely. It's not quite as tall as the Z Fold 5, but it's supposed to be a little bit wider. And when we hold them up together, you can see it looks like, it appears like it might be a little bit wider. Let's put them the same direction here, Mark. It looks like it still might be just a tad bit wider, and that's what it's supposed to be according to the specs. And as far as the thinness, let's open them both up. It's supposed to be a little thinner. So let's see here. Let's look at the bottom side. Is it any thinner? It lays flat. Look at that. You still got some curvature. Uh, you can't really see it on camera. Yeah, you can. You got a little bit of curvature to the Z Fold 5, but the Z Fold 6 lays a little flat, so that's kind of nice. Now, I'm not a fan of the squared off look on this phone. The squared off just kind of bugs me because it does dig into my hands. That's what everybody's complaining about. It does dig in as compared to 
the Z Fold 5. The Z Fold 5, probably because the hints protrude a little bit more, but everything's a little rounder. You got the rounded curve here versus this thing being squared off, kind of like the iPhone and the other devices today, except it's lacking the curved corner like the rest of them to kind of give you that little bit of a cushion. So I definitely don't like the feel of this in the hand as compared to this. Now, now let's take a quick look at the weight difference because the Z Fold 6 is supposed to be lighter than the Z Fold 5. How much lighter? Not much. Can I tell just by feeling it out here? You know, I don't really feel the difference holding them like this or yeah, it's not enough to really tell the difference. Let's turn on this scale here and let's see. We got this set on grams. Let's do with the Z Fold 5 first. Now the Z Fold 5, it says 260. Now I do have a skin on it. I don't know how much difference that's going to make, but coming out at 260, and I believe this one's supposed to be 243 and it is 243 right out of the box. So it weighs what they tell us it does, but it's still not feeling much difference. And if we open them both up, let me open them both up here. And do I feel a difference weight with them open? Not really. I'm not feeling difference. So if you're looking at a Getting a lighter phone is a reason to buy it. No, that is not a reason to upgrade to the Z Fold 6. Now let's take a look at some of the inside features because we haven't really opened these up yet. Now I was actually doing this off camera, but I'm going to show you something. This is bugging me. Open this up and it won't recognize my face. I did put my face in there, I promise. But for some reason, this inside camera will not recognize my face. I can see the camera there. Five incorrect attempts to verify your face. Try again after 26 minutes. I hate that. I really hate that. When I open it up, it should just pop on. That drives me nuts. Now, I have not set up my fingerprint on this yet, so I'm going to have to punch in my code. There, now I got it on. Open it up. We should be on the same page. So now looking at them, on the inside, you can see they both look exactly the same size. Really, side by side, doesn't look like there's a whole lot of difference. Let's go ahead and stack them. Let me move these out of the way, and we can see. Let's go ahead and stack them and see. Does it look any different stacked? If we line up the edges, it does not look any bigger stacked. Now it is supposed to be larger. As a matter of fact, the outside screen is supposed to be larger too. It's supposed to be a 6.3 versus a 6.2. And as you saw, I didn't see the difference. Let's get them on the same kind of view. I didn't really see the difference. It's a little bit taller, I think. If you line up the clock there, you can see it's a little bit taller. No, it's not taller. It's not as actually as tall as the Z Fold 5, but its bezels are smaller. So it does look like it's a tad bit longer when you look at that view, just barely. So this is a 6.2 inch screen and this is a 6.3 inch screen. I'm not seeing it. So let me pull out a real 6.3 inch screen. This is the Pixel Fold and it is 6.3 inch. Look at the difference. There's a big difference. It's quite a bit wider. Let's go ahead and go to the side screen here. And then when you put it up here on top, you can see the pixel is much wider. This is 6.3, this is 6.3. Why do they claim to be the same size? Okay, it might be a little bit taller, but you let me know what you think. Can they really get away with calling this a 6.3 when this is a 6.3? I'm not seeing it. So as far as screens go, that's not a reason to update. There's nothing larger about the Z Fold 6. So let's stop talking about the outside and the looks of these phones. Let's talk about the inside. What's different about the Z Fold 6 than the Z Fold 5? Now the upgrade difference is this is a Snapdragon Gen 2 versus a Snapdragon Gen 3 on the new Z Fold 6. Now, do you find it different when using it day to day? No, I don't find any speed difference using it day to day. Now I'm going off of using my S24 because it has the Snapdragon 3 and I have not really found any difference in the speed of that phone versus my Z Fold 5 or any of my other phones. If you want to look at one of my other videos, I talk about the speed of these phones. It hasn't changed a lot in the last few years. You got to check out that video. So, so far, I'm not saying a lot of good about the Z Fold 6. And I'm sorry for those that am upset. You could tell me what is the big difference between the Z Fold 6 and the Z Fold 5. Why should I be more excited about the 6 than the 5? Maybe I'm just justifying not spending that $700 difference in the beginning and waiting to get the 355, which I'm glad I did. Because as you can tell from this video, I'm not finding much difference. So did Samsung miss the mark? I think they did. One of the biggest things, and I'll wrap it up with this, is I think they should have went with a bigger screen, 
something more like the Pixel because the Pixel really just blows these things out of the water with its size. Look at that. That is just huge. And you can put them side by side. Is the Z Fold any taller? No, not really. They're about the same. Is it when you go landscape, is there any better benefit? No, not really. It's still a small fold compared to the competitors. So in summary, in my first impression, it's not all that great, as you could tell. I'm not seeing a whole lot of reason to upgrade to the Z Fold 6 from the Z Fold 5, maybe even the Z Fold 4. So if there's anyone out there that thinks that they have a good reason to upgrade from this one to this one, please leave it down in the comments. I really want to know, I'm being honest here, was there really a compelling reason to upgrade the Z Fold 6? Now, I will put my SIM in this phone, and I will use it for the next few days to, and give it a good chance to see, but I don't think I'm going to see any performance difference, and it's still going to be that same narrow screen to me. And I know I sound like I have that preconceived notion in my head. Go ahead and yell at me in the comments about that, but we'll go ahead and test it out anyway. Now, you want to go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already because I'm going to give you more content on the Z Fold 6 in comparison to the other foldables that are out there. And we'll really find out, is Samsung really being left behind? Now, of course, as always, if you got something out of this video, please smash that like button down below because it really does help out the channel. Thanks for hanging out with me. Until next time, God bless.